In this class, we are going to learn how to call external REST APIs in our Oracle Apex application. When we are working on Oracle Apex, we might come across a common use case wherein we have to call external web services like the REST API for Oracle Fusion Cloud application or any other application and we have to get the data and show on our Oracle Apex page. Suppose if you have such requirement in your application, then we will see how we can achieve the same in this demonstration. I have created a step-by-step -step guide over here that is for calling external REST API in Oracle Apex. We don't have to do coding using PL SQL or write the ORDS script. With just few setups or button clicks, we will be able to consume any REST API. For demonstration purpose, I will be calling the Oracle Fusion Cloud application REST API. That is the Get All Workers API which is part of Oracle Fusion Cloud HCM catalog. Now this is the Get All kind of REST API we are considering for today's use case. First and the foremost thing in consuming the external REST API is first we have to create the credential. Suppose if your REST API is not secure, then you can skip this step number one. So the step number one, that is to create the credential is needed only if your REST API is secured using basic authentication or auth or OCI signature so and so forth. Suppose it is not secured then you can straight away go to the point 2. Now we'll consider that our Fusion Cloud application is fully secured. Now we will create a web credential. Let me go over to the Apex instance and I will create one application. I will name this as demo REST API external use case click on create in order to create the web credential one of the ways you can go to the oracle apex workspace over here click on the app builder from here you can go to workspace utilities and you can go to web credential this is one of the way one more way is suppose if you are already in the application like suppose i'm here in the demo rest api external use case application I can navigate to web credentials using state components, click on this and if you just scroll down on the right bottom corner, there is an option called as credential, click on this. So you will be straight away taken to the same location. Now the first step over here is we have to create the web credential. Let me copy the name which we have to use in order to create the web credential. Click on create button. I will provide the name as Fusion HCM credential. From the authentication type, you have to select basic authentication. Suppose if you want to authenticate the Fusion REST APIs using OT2, you can go for OT2. Suppose if you are calling the OCI APIs like the OCI function, vault or any other services on the OCI, then you can go for the OCI signature. Or if you want to go with the URL query kind of thing like a quick key pay or the HTTP header, you can go ahead with this as well. For demonstration purpose, we will be authenticating Fusion Cloud APIs using basic authentication. I will be providing the client ID or the username and password over here for my basic authentication. Let me populate the same. I have populated my username and password for my Fusion instance. I will click on create. So the first step is done. We have successfully created the web credentials for Fusion Cloud HCM that is for one of the users. Let me navigate back to my application that is demo REST API. Go to this. Now the next step is after creating the credential. So you have to create the web credential only if your API is secured. Suppose if it is not secured then you can skip the step number one that is to create web credential. Now let's configure our REST data source. Click on shared component. Just scroll down. You will be seeing this option that is data sources. Click on REST data source. Once you are here in this REST data sources, click on this create. I will be selecting from scratch. Suppose if you want to copy from existing data source, like suppose if you have already created an API configuration for workers and now you want to call the public workers, in that case you can copy from existing data source. In our case, this is the first time we are configuring something for Fusion Cloud application. I will select from scratch. Click on next. In the name, what I will do is I will provide Fusion HCM public workers something like this and you have to provide the complete URL endpoint over here. Let me populate the same. So this is my public worker REST API endpoint. Let me copy this from here and paste in the URL endpoint. 
optional things are open api url you can provide or the https host name click on next now it is by default taking up to resources as the base url and from the version slash public workers it is considering as reality uri that is okay click on next here it is asking pagination suppose if your api is returning entire data set in the response then you can go for no pagination in this case this is the get all workers api and this is having the pagination like limit offset queue and in the output response you can see there is total result and the has more now let me call this from the postman and see how the data will look like i have called this request that is for the public workers from my oracle fusion hcm and i am seeing that we are having an array in the response and i am seeing the person information over here and if you just scroll down towards the end we will see the has more and the total count now with this set what we will do is we will try to configure our rest data source with pagination suppose if you don't want pagination you can just skip this step i will go for pagination that is based on the size and the offset number now it is asking what is the page size url parameter so for this we have to always look for the documentation page for the respective api what we are calling from our apex in the case of oracle fusion they have mentioned this is the limit is the one which will decide the size of the data now what is the maximum size return fusion usually can return up to 500 in most of the endpoints so i am giving 500 is the maximum coming to the offset we have to see what is the offset query parameter is being used in your api in the case of public workers api offset is termed as offset only now it is asking row offset type rows to skip you can try to skip first rows or something by selecting this you will get an option to provide the same now it is asking what is the has more selector over here in our case has more selector will be in the response that is over here let me copy from here and provide the has more field next it is asking has more rows attribute value what it will be suppose in the case of oracle fusion if there are next set of records like in one call if you don't mention the limit fusion will return 25 records and it will mention that there are more records and not only 25 records so we can always check this has more and see if there are more records in the fusion so that we can paginate and get more details so this is a concept of pagination we are not diving deep into the concept of pagination and pagination will be common in all the apis across the products not only oracle now with this set i will click on next now here it is asking to select the credential our fusion rest api is secured we will try to use the credential which we created earlier in this demonstration that is fusion hcm cred we will click on discover so that it can invoke the api and get the sample data now here if you see it is invoking the api and it is showing this is the data what it is fetching and also it will be able to paginate so this is the sample set of data it has retrieved from the fusion like what we see in the postman the same it has done from the discover i will click on create rest data source so this is how you can configure your rest data source with just few clicks now with this set we are good to create the page in order to show the data i will create a page click on the create page and i will go for the classic report click on next i will name this as public workers fusion api demo something like this and from the data source we have to select rest source and from the rest data source we have to select the rest data source whatever we have configured just now nested rows if you want to select i can select the nested rows as well in order to show the child items we are not going into that concept click on create page it will automatically create the classic report and it will add the columns by looking at the api now we are not interested in showing those links so we will skip those links so what we will do is we will just delete this link or we can just make this as hidden click on save now we are good to preview our application click on run i will quickly populate my credentials click on sign in so we will be straight away taken to the public workers page which we created and it will show all the worker information and also it is having a pagination option click on next it will query fusion api and in order to get the next set of records now if i click on again next so it is considering the batch size of 50 over here and it is getting the next set of records click on next 
and we are seeing next set of records. So like this, we can call the Fusion REST API or any REST API and also you can have the pagination option while querying the data so that your application won't be overburdened with the humongous data written from the API. If the user wants to get more information, then they can click on this next button in order to get next set of records. So like this, with the simple steps, we can call the external REST APIs in Oracle Apex with zero coding. So this is one of the best way how we can make use of Oracle Apex as a no-code product.